What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbra, and you're tuning in to another episode of My Lawn. Okay, when to bag and when to mulch. This is how I do it. And as you can see, the grass is looking, you know the deal. A good. It's an ongoing debate. When should I bag or should I bag? Should I mulch? What should I do? Well, it just depends on the situation and what's going on in your lawn, right? If your grass is super tall, obviously you want to bag it. Remember, we follow the one third rule. Always cut a third of the grass blade. Even if it's super tall, a third. Get back out there, a third again. Get back out there another couple days, a third again, then you're at your height of cut, right? Now, if you have some disease, obviously you're gonna also wanna bag. You're not gonna wanna mulch and spread all that disease everywhere. You know what I mean? So mulching is actually very good for your lawn because it puts nutrients back in to the soil. What it does is it cuts up the grass blades really, really small. Now, you, had, you do have to have a couple things to, to mulch. Obviously, a lawnmower that can mulch. You're not just gonna <laughs> put random blades down in your grass and hope that it decomposes. It's not gonna happen. It's just gonna create a major thatch layer. It's gonna create problems for you later. You want to make sure that you have a mulching mower, or in this case, we're gonna get the mulching blade for our Ego LM2100. Here we go. Little Bill with his action. Hello! Now, if you haven't seen my cameo episode with my friend, the Turf Mechanic, go ahead and uh, check that out. Link will be in the description. I'm gonna, here, I'll put a card right here. There you go. Check it out. It's also, you know, talks about mulching. He's super, super good with all this. I mean, way more advanced and technical than I am. You know me, I'm just like, here, do this and buy this, and uh, yes, it's awesome. <laughs> But at the same time, you know, we're learning all these different things, and this is what I'm doing, and, and I'm sharing it with you guys. Swordman or the Ego? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> For my little lawn. So we have the LM2100 by Ego. It's an older lawnmower, and I did the select cut blade conversion. So you have to have the fan, the flange bolt, you have to have the washer, you have to have everything, right? So the cool thing is we had some extra hexagon lock nuts. So I just bought some more blade bolts for the part number blade AB2101AD. This is the mulching blade set by Ego and it's gonna fit perfectly because we already did the conversion. Now we are going to put a little bit of this thread locker onto the uh, blade nuts and bolts. I didn't do that in the last one, we just tightened it down, but I'm gonna start do doing that because I wanna be very, you know, precise on, you know, showing you guys the right things to do. So use some thread locker. I bought this uh, perma Permatex. It's the orange version. It is high strength removable, because you don't, <laughs> you know, just in case you gotta sharpen, these are two blades. Um, I'm not noticing, I'm noticing that I can sharpen them without having to unbolt them. It's not really getting in the way and it stays balanced, so that's fine. But uh, yeah, just to be safe, we're gonna put some thread lock up. The LM2100 also has a mulching uh, blocker. Is this a mulching uh, bag blocker? <laughs> so I'm gonna plop that in. We are fully installed and good to go. Oh my goodness, look at that cut, amazing. Very even, a uh, very sharp. And where are the grass blades? I can't oh, even see. There. This is how you know you got a good mulching blade, you got a good mulching lawnmower, because there's not blades everywhere. It's already in the dirt. It's already, it's already decomposing as you speak. Wow, this is how you do it, guys. This is how you mulch your grass. You cut a third off, you let it go deep inside, 
and make it happen. You know, I was that guy too. I'm gonna beg every time, every time I mow because I want my grass to be super clean and I don't want to build thatch. Yes, you will develop some thatch if you are uh, trying to throw down some one to two inch blades that can't decompose fast enough, okay? That's how you get thatch. So don't be cutting your grass from five inches to one inch and leaving the four inches down on your lawn. That's not how you, you that's not how you do this. <laughs> that's not how you mulch, okay? Shame on you for doing that. Whoa, I can't believe you just did that. A third, one third rule. Most of the people are mulching most of the time. Why? Because it brings the nutrients back into the lawn. It's like an or it's like an organic natural nitrogen for your grass. You need to start doing this. If you're constantly bagging, if you don't have a reason to bag, you shouldn't be bagging. Now, me personally, I bag a ton in the end of winter and during a little bit of the spring because there's a lot of stuff going on in the lawn. There's a lot of disease. There's a lot of preventative things you gotta do. So I bag. I just want everything clean and out. But during end of spring, early summer, it's mulch time. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm about 80 to 90% mulching. Like now that we're real mowing, yeah, it's gonna be, you know, cutting a third of the grass blades, leaving it on, you know, the lawn. And the same with the with the side. We're gonna leave, you know, cut a third probably every other day. Same thing as the real mowing. And we're just gonna mulch that stuff in. Provide the nutrients. Disease, bag. You don't wanna spread it. If it's too long, bag the first round. And then start, you know, mulching from there. But yes, these blades are amazing. Now I have the high lift blade, which is cool too. It definitely high lifts all the grass into the, into the bag. But these mulching blades are gonna be a game changer for the season. So recap, just a quick recap. Bagging, if you got disease. Bagging, if your grass is too tall. Mulching, to provide more nutrients and na natural nitrogen into your lawn. And always use the third rule. Cut a third of the grass blade. Oh yeah, and make sure you have a mulching lawnmower or, or mulching blades. It's a spoon feeding time. Yes, this lawn is looking a great, and I can't wait for more greatness to come. Oh, by the way, if you guys are cool season grass, I highly recommend getting on some Disease X. We have a lot of weird weather we're going on right now and I'm pretty sure your lawn is full of brownness and disease and uh, brown spots and dollar just nastiness. Get on the Disease X by Scott's. I'm about to lay down another application as a preventative. It's not, it wasn't too bad in the beginning and uh, we don't want it bad in the summer, leading up to summer. So we definitely need to put some old down we are putting down some triple 16, some iron, and some sea kelp in four gallons across 1,500 square feet all up in the front. Nothing much going on in the lawn. I just want to go over the mulching, you know, thing I'm, I'm doing this year. Just going to start mulching more. But yeah, you know, our uh, weekly fertilizer schedule, doing that before it starts raining. And then... Yeah, we got we got some more stuff coming up for you guys. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for the likes. Oh, whoa. We are averaging so many likes per day. It is nuts. People are starting to subscribe. Thank you so much for the support. You are all amazing. Our community is growing at an incredible rate. This makes me feel really good. This makes me want to put out more content because of you guys and all the support you give me. Thank you so much. Major thanks. All right, my dudes, we'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.
Who's that guy? <laughs> this guy has so much info. What's up, Alan?